MMAfighting.com. I know I'm joined by Kiefer Crosby, who takes on Daniel Olienchuk on Saturday night at the Tree Arena. Did I get that pronunciation right? I don't give a fuck what his second name is. I actually don't know his second name, to be honest. Obi-Wan, <laughs> apparently. I don't know. A lot of people see this as a showcase fight. They see this is an opportunity for Kiefer to show us the full arsenal, all of your striking arsenal. What do you think of that? I don't know what people are thinking. I just think I'm going to win and that's it. Do you know, I just, I get sent the contract with an opponent's name on it and I just, you know, it's, I'm, I'm not in a position to say yes or no to these fights. I just, I say yes to everybody. You know, I've never turned down an opponent in my life and I'm not going to start now. So it's nice money. Um, again, yeah, maybe it is a good place to showcase my skills and um, I'm just grateful to be here. Main card, Sky Sports, Bellator, Dublin, Ireland. I mean, it doesn't get bigger than this for me. I mean, this is huge and uh, I'm just very proud to be here. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting in and just showing people how good I really am at martial arts. So. We talked about how important these TV deals are and now you're going to be on Sky Sports. Like, I mean, it's a bit of a home run in terms of a, a broadcast deal, right? Like, how much do you think this is going to mean for your brand? Like, you already see it in North Dublin, your face up on walls and stuff. That's, that's crazy. Like, so, I mean, with Sky Sports, are you expecting this to go to another level altogether? Yeah, I am. Yeah, look, Sky Sports is a big, big deal. Um, but again, I don't focus on that. You know what I mean? I, I'm, I never had it in my head that I wanted to be famous or well known. I just want to show people how good I am at fighting. You know what I mean? I want people to learn from my abilities and learn from my skill set. And I want to make money and support my family. You know what I mean? And that's exactly what I'm doing. It's all about just feeding the family at the end of the day and getting to do what I love. And I love fighting and I get to feed my family. So I, everything after that is a bonus. But yes, as a brand and stuff, I think it is going to blow up. I can see it, I can feel it. Even all this media and stuff, it's, it's getting nuts. You know, the murals in the walls at Smithfield now. Shout out to Subset. That's a cra I don't know. Was, they put that up the day of my last fight. Surprised me with it and sent me a picture. And I was like, I was blown away. And it was just, a, it's mad. Yeah, I just try to take it in my stride, not get too caught up in all that bollocks. And just, just I'm grateful, I'm humbled by it. But like, the number one thing for me is martial arts. You know what I mean? I just want to show people my skill sets and win and get my hand raised and make money. That's it. So. Can you feel it? Because it certainly seems like a lot of people are excited about you. Maybe more so than other people. You know, I think it's your style. You have a very exciting style. You're always looking for the knockout. That war with Josh Plant certainly helped. But do you feel the momentum growing each fight? Uh, major man, the support I get is nuts. Like, like I'm five and hours a professional, and I'm seeing people that are like 30, 40, five veterans. They've been around 15, and they don't even have that support. And I think it's an Irish thing. You know what I mean, Irish really get behind their own, and I'm very, very proud of where I'm from. Um, and I think all my people just get behind me and support me very well and, and I appreciate every single one of them, I swear they got to do, even the people that give me a bit of hate online, I love that as well because it's attention and it's like they're, they're still focused on me, I'm getting comments and shit and people hating and they follow me and they're liking me stuff and it's, it's like okay well numbers mean something in this game so you just keep doing that, I am just keep doing what I'm doing and I don't get too caught up in it but I am very, uh, I'm very very grateful for everybody but yeah I do feel it man, it's, it's getting big, even walking down the street and people are, like stopping me and stuff, it's, it's a bit weird but I just it's something you have to get used to, I suppose. Yeah. When when people uh, think about you, you've always said like I'm gonna be, I'm a future world champion. Like you know you want to be in there against the best guys. Some people have said like they wanted to see you kind of take a bigger step up in this fight. You've mentioned earlier like you're not turning down any fights. But I mean, is that something you hope now for your next fight? They'll give you that step up because obviously you want to be chasing down these titles as soon as possible, right? No, yes and no. Like, t yeah, titles, yes, but that's that's that'll happen when it happens. And the money has to be right for that too, right? It's all money, and anyone who tells you different is stupid or they're lying to you. It's all about money. Oh, look at the position I'm in now. Seriously, every contract a contract that gets shown at me now, there's big money on it now, and that's that's all that matters now. This is the fight business. This doesn't last forever. It's all about earning and, and moving on. That's it. Titles will come, do you get me? And I know that it will happen. I will fight the champion someday. I will end up with a belt around my waist one day, 100%. But right now, I just want to make nice highlight reels, have good fights, don't take any damage, make some money, keep stepping up competition as the fights go on. You know, have exciting fights too. I want to fight names, you know what I mean? Someone that people are going to go, okay, that's the, he was a fucking ex, whatever, veteran, or, you know what I'm saying? You, you've always been looking for that, in fairness. Looking for it, in fairness. And again, after my last fight, it was funny, the day after, I was in Milan and I was sitting there having a pizza and I got a text and it was the contract for my next fight and I was like, that's never happened before. And I looked at it and I laughed and I was like, I actually didn't, I was like, nah, that's a step down, I thought personally. But again, I'm not in a position to say no, I can't, you know, I'm Bellator at the bosses, this is who they offered, I have to say yes. And again, I've never said no to a fight in my life and I'm not going to start now. So again, yes, I, again, Daniel, I'm not going to say he's a shit opponent, 
but everyone seems to be underestimating him, apart from me. I take my training very serious. You can put me in there with an 0-10 lad, I'm still going to train like I'm fighting a fucking world champion. It's about me, not him, do you get me? So I, I've put the work in for this like I'm fighting Rory McDonald. I've put the work in like I'm fighting one of these people. And it'll show on Saturday night how my level is up a notch. And people may say it was a mismatch, but they're only going to say it because my level is on a different level to these people. And whether I fight, you know, a name, like, I don't know, whoever the fuck, they'll still say, ah, oh, maybe you should have fought someone better. But yes, after this fight, maybe a step up in competition would be nice. Maybe in America, Madison Square Garden. That's what I'm thinking now. Look what James has done. The Irish connection over there would be nice. Do you get me? It's, as much as we're saying, like, a, a lot of people are, you know, you're a heavy favourite to win this. It's a different kind of pressure, though, right? Because people are coming in and expecting you to just annihilate this guy. That's a different kind of pressure, right? It's no pressure. I don't care about what people are thinking, to be honest. I don't. I, don't, I really don't. I don't give a fuck. People can say what they want. If they're not the ones fighting. I'm fighting. No pressure on me. Um, every fight is the exact same. I go in there and it's all about just winning. And it's having a route to win, you know, and I'll feel out in there, I'll see, I'll feed off his reactions and, and see what he's doing. And whether I knock him out, whether I take him down, whether I ground and pound him, or whether I pull guard and submit him from off my back like I can do, that's all that matters. So people are, yes, over, uh, underestimating him and saying I keep us going to breeze through him, and probably I will. But there's no pressure on me at all, mate. I'm just going in here to have fun, do what I love, get paid, and get me hand raised in front of my people. I can't. I literally cannot fucking wait, mate. I'm buzzing for this. Like this is deadly, yeah. I'm looking at you. You're kid out um, with sponsors Jim already, King. yeah. But it, it's great. Be Jim King, fresh clubber. <laughs> it's really good because this, this is going. Like Sky Sports is going to come along. Surely there's going to be more brands interested in in the Kiefer Crosby business, right? Maybe, yeah. Nice Calvin Klein model, chat. These nice good looks. You know what I mean, the abs might be gone next week now, but <laughs> a few donuts into me after the fight, but um, no, yeah, again, that'll all happen. You know, shout out to Paradigm Sports, Tim and Audi are taking care of my uh, my sponsors, and uh, they're my management company now. I have great people around me, like I'm training in the best gym in Ireland, my teammates are like brothers to me, I mean, this is all coming together nicely. I have a small circle, I've said this from day one to you, I have a very small circle and it hasn't got that much bigger. Just, but there's really strong, good people in that that are going to help me propel to the next level, make me some money, help me take care of my family, and give me good financial advice. And that's all I want. Do you get me? So I'm happy with help. Final question, Kiefer. It's a bit of a cliche. Um, what is your prediction for this fight? To win. And that's it. Nothing else matters. Win. Whatever. Again, whether I knock him out, submit him, it doesn't matter. Once my hand is raised, that's all that matters. Um, but yeah, a clean knockout first round, straight right hand to the mouth. That's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to bury my knuckles down his throat, and then we'll see what happens after that. Hopefully he can take a shot and give the fans a, a bit of an exciting fight, but maybe not. Maybe a 30-second job. I don't know. But we'll see what happens. Tune in Saturday night. Sky Sports. The Big Daddy Show. <laughs> Thanks so much, Keeper, man. Cheers.